If I had eyes in the back of my head. Even when he's singing about serious subjects, Jack Johnson's music seems eternally sunny. So it's fitting the surfer turned songwriter's new album, Sleep Through the Static, was recorded using 100% solar power. You want everybody to do it and you want it to become just the standard. She gives me presents with a presence alone. While Johnson worked out a new song on his acoustic guitar, filmmaker Emmett Malloy, who's a partner in Johnson's Brushfire Records, took us up to the roof of their Los Angeles studio. So come check out the panels because they're pretty cool looking. The solar panels were kicking up so much energy, they caused a burst of static in our wireless microphones. Whatever is in it is really loving the wireless. Hold on. Oh, really? <laughs> Interesting. On cloudy days, brush fire pulls from the LA power grid. But on sunny days, they manufacture enough electricity to power themselves along with their unsuspecting neighbors. Companies that don't have solar panels around here, they're using it whether they want to or not, so it's kind of nice. Last year, Johnson and Malloy bought this early 1900s craftsman building to house their record label and promptly gave it a green makeover. We uh, insulated the whole place with recycled blue jean scraps. Recycled denim lines the walls instead of fiberglass. Appliances are energy efficient and furniture is second hand. Use stuff that we found at, you know, antique stores or from friends and we I really... Because I think I owned this one when I was in college. Toilets are dual flushing. Meaning you can press one for one and two for two, if you know what I mean. And reclaimed wood from the studio in the back migrated to the entryway in the front, on the floor and on the ceiling. So it's all about finding another purpose and giving it another life. It's fun. Like, I, it's like Swift Family Robinson. I love to do this. <laughs> in the control room, high-tech solar power meets low-tech retro recording equipment. So this is the, it looks like, two-inch... Yeah analog tape machine. Yeah. Their environmental philosophy may be cutting edge, but all Jack Johnson really needs is vintage gear and an old-fashioned acoustic guitar. So if all else fails and you have no more solar power and you can't plug in anywhere, you have your acoustic guitar, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, that'll be good <laughs> enough for me. Denise Kwan, CNN, Los Angeles.